Η Τουρκία και η συμπεριφορά τη αποτελούν πρόβλημα για τον ΝΑΤΟ, λέει στον Σκάι και τον Απόστολο Μαγκυριάδη, ο Τζόναθαν Σάντζερ, που είναι ο αντιπρόεδρο του Ιδρύματο Υπεράσπιση τη Δημοκρατία στην Ουάσιγκτον. Ο κ. Σάντζερ θεωρεί πω ο Ερντογάν θα άρει τελικά το βέτο του απέναντι σε Σουηδία και Φινλανδία, αφού τελικά καταφέρει να κερδίσει κάτι από τα πολλά που ζητάει από τι ΗΠΑ. Uh, Jonathan, we view Turkey's uh, opposition to Sweden and Finland joining NATO as a cynical attempt to blackmail the U.S. into lifting all sanctions against the Turkish uh, defense industry. Do you sense Erdogan could make something out of it? Well, I think the United States right now is desperate for uh, unity within NATO and to bolster the ranks of NATO. So certainly Sweden and Finland are seen as assets right now in this ongoing standoff with Russia. Uh, we could see a, a, a situation in which Biden uh, yields to the demands of Erdogan, although I have to say uh, it certainly appears to many of us right now uh, that Turkey is a clear liability to the NATO alliance, especially as they try to exact demands uh, at a moment of crisis. Right, but in the end, do you think that Turkey will withdraw its veto? And if yes, what do you sense Turkey would uh, gain as a barter? Look, I think that certainly you could see sanctions lifted. You could see the sale of F-16s hastened. You could even see the F-35 being put back on the table. None of these, I think, are warranted for a, a country that has proven itself to be an unreliable ally. But certainly these are the kinds of things that Erdogan is pushing for. By the way, outside of the military realm, we also have to remember that there is a looming court case against Halk Bank, the second largest bank in, uh, or, or uh, publicly held bank in Turkey. This is also one of the demands. There is a lot that Erdogan needs from the United States. He's still in a lot of trouble. So perhaps he's going to try to get at least one of these uh, taken care of. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, President Erdogan showed his dismay against Greece for the country's weapon sale with the U.S. and the bases the American government is uh, building in Greece. Is he really that frustrated or is this part of the whole bargaining tactic that you just described? I think that this is more of an electioneering tactic. I think he's messaging to his own people right now. Uh, particularly his political base, the AK Party. I think that's probably more of what's going on. This is not a zero-sum game for Turkey. Uh, mm -hmm. If Greece is able to buy new weapons or establish joint bases with the United States, that should actually be an overall plus uh, for the stability of the region. I think this is just po uh, political um, uh, uh, posturing. Mm -hmm. And finally, Jonathan, what do you think are the major gains uh, for Mitsotaki said uh, during his visit in the U.S. this week? Well, I think, look, just being here right now and being viewed as a uh, valuable member of, uh, uh, of the NATO alliance, being seen as a Western ally, a U.S. ally, I think that is significant. I'm sure there were some issues being discussed about how to potentially further isolate Russia. Um, and, and so I think that it was just an incredibly important moment uh, for the Hellenic American uh, Alliance. The question is what we do from here. Um, it's always important to see what happens afterwards in terms of um, following through on plans. That's what we're now watching here in Washington. Mm -hmm.